What's up, you guys? Welcome back to 2740 Solutions, home of the highest paid, the fittest, the most dangerous problem solvers on the planet. Before we get started today, talking about passive income and all the craziness associated with it right now, I just wanted to cue you guys in on the weekly challenge, which is to win two free days with my 2018 Dodge Charger Daytona. It is in Dodge's best color, Destroyer Gray, no sunroof. The roof is blacked out. We don't mess around with sunroofs here. So stay tuned to the end of the video to learn how you can enter that competition for free to win two free days with that Dodge Charger Daytona. All right, let's get into it. So passive income. If you haven't heard that term, I don't know how you got to this channel because basically anything that talks about money, you're going to have people, oh, passive income this, $10,000 a month that, blah, blah, blah. Passive income for most of us is multiple steps away. So let's just take it for what it's worth, deconstruct it, and we'll figure out how we're going to get there. So I like to call passive income the Greek yogurt of the finance community. Um, it's overhyped. There's too many flavors. It's got too much sugar and everyone and their mom is talking about it. So we got we to gotta talk some sense of this. So I got my whiteboard here. I got a bunch of stuff written down on it. We got colors. We got colors. So I'm going to go ahead and orient ourselves to this. We got income. We got money in the middle. And then we got a, kind of our three slash four, but, but really three things that bring in money. You got your job. You got your side hustle. And you got your passive income, right? So you got your job. You got your side hustle. And you got your passive income. And then you got happiness down here in the corner because why are we doing any of this if we're not chasing after happiness, right? So some things to talk about for um, just the just the the passive income community. It it talks down so hard on everything else, like your job. The amount of people that I see making passive income videos or courses that talk down about people's jobs. You know, not everybody has the worst job ever. Some people actually like their job. Some people are actually good at their job. And that's that's something to think about. So there's a few things that you guys need to look at at your normal job before you just drink the Kool-Aid of passive income and get all depressed and be like, oh, my job sucks. I hate a nine to five. You know, I only make this much a year. It's really easy to be negative about your normal job just because that's what it is. It's normal. It's not like, it's not sexy. It's not fun. It's not, it's not, ooh, you know, sitting on a beach making 10K a month or whatever it may be, right? So some things to consider about your job right now that might be more valuable than you think. Um, first of all, benefits. Some jobs have great benefits. Some jobs have no benefits. So just kind of do a quick check and be like, oh, how much money are my benefits worth on top of my base salary or on top of my commissions? Next, can you make commissions? Because that those commissions are a tangible way where you can make that, that good money on the top, that icing on the cake, that then you can turn into passive income. Because when we're, when we're talking about this passive income, you have to feed it with something. Unless you were just given money, you know, when you were born, which even if you were given money, someone had to work for that. So you need to do something active to get to that passive role, right? And that is the thing that I think people leave out the most. Active income creates passive income. Passive income doesn't just magically apparate out of thin air. It doesn't just manifest itself to to your bank account. You know, that you know, people don't just all of a sudden have a bunch of rental properties that are just magically upkept and then just, you know, getting fat stacks in their bank account. So Back to active income sources, your job, your benefits, your commission. Commission is one of the best ways to feed passive income. Um, do you get bonuses? Bonuses and commissions kind of in the same in the same sentence right there, but a little bit different. Salary. What is your if you're on salary, is there a way to increase your salary? Is there a way to get uh, get promoted or you know maybe transfer to another company where you can do the same job but have a higher salary? Or are you pay it hour, hourly? If you're paid hourly, you might just be able to work some overtime and then all of a sudden you got you got that icing on the cake money, start investing it in a passive income source. We're not going to get too tied down in passive income yet because I'm not done my rant yet. The other hot thing, not as hot as passive income in my opinion, is the side hustle. So side hustles are a little bit, they're more complicated, but the results are kind of uh, simpler, right? So you're either making money and or 
uh, being rewarded. Like it's maybe maybe you make baseball gloves on the side or something. You just you pretty much just enjoy that. Maybe you make a little money, maybe you don't. But you just you make baseball gloves, you sell them to people, or you refinish them. Cool. I mean, it's just rewarding to you. Maybe you just love baseball gloves or love baseball, right? Or you're developing for either a future job or a future business endeavor or just developing yourself as a person, right? So the side hustle, you can feed that money or prepare yourself to make more money at another job to then feed the passive income, right? But let me stress, unless you're just given money, you need to do something active to make passive income, right? And that is just the bananas concept that I don't think most people are conveying when they're talking about, oh, passive income this, how I make how I make 80,000 a month from my passive income sources. No, at some point they were active. They created websites, they created YouTube channels, they became influencers, they built a business that's a brick and mortar business out there, that's a rental car business that invested in real estate, whatever. We can hop into this passive stuff in a second, but just passive income does not come out of nowhere. So now that I've kind of gotten that out of the way, let's let's remember that most people are really just in, in search of, of being happy, right? So if you're happy with your job or you're happy with your side hustle and passive income doesn't really float your boat, as long as you're you know safe enough and you can either support your family or just support yourself or however your life is set up, then maybe you just want to stay where you're at. That's that's fine. And I think that's another issue with this whole passive income craze is that everyone's like, oh, if I don't have a, shit, a ton of passive income, then I'm just going to be, I'm going to be depressed and I'm going to work till I'm 85 years old. Okay. Well, maybe some of us want to work till we're 85 years old. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. So if you're happy with what you're doing right now, keep doing it. Maybe just do it more and do it better. Right. All right. Let's get into passive income a little bit. I'm just going to do a quick spin up on this, but, um, some common Passive income sources are real estate, uh, having a money manager that just manages your your Lambo money, your your fat stacks on a yacht, and he just throws it around or she just throws it around into the next hottest stock. You know, they just happen to know that Tesla was gonna four x over the course of four months, right? I don't know. Uh, that's that sounds luxurious, right? But you know, what are you what are you doing during that? Um, stocks. Um, if you if you think you can uh, you know play in the stock market. Um, better than you know index funds then by all means so if you want to just uh, do what Warren Buffett says that would be invest in an index fund like the S&P 500 an index that tracks that or maybe the Dow Jones or an international one depending on how you feel about the international market uh, looking at growth stocks like a Tesla like a growth stock because Tesla is far outpricing its earnings even though it's killing it right now or dividend stocks something like AT&T AT&T trades about $30 a share right now it has been for the past few months and it pays out a 7% dividend, which if you have enough shares of AT&T, 7% of whatever the stock price is, is going to be a considerable amount of money if you have millions of dollars invested in that company. So dividend stocks are a technique. And then lastly, kind of an IRA, 401k, you know, like that retirement, um, kind of retirement savings account, however you want to structure that tax-wise. Those are all relatively passive. Now, real estate... I have it at the bottom. I should have put a question mark next to it because come on now, most people who invest in real estate, if you talk to them legitimately, they're not going to tell you that their tenants and toilets just shell them out money and they never have a headache. They never have a phone call. They're never, you know, they never had to go through closing process and they were never in escrow. They were never doing anything that, you know, that, again, a house doesn't just manifest itself and just start being like, oh, here you go. Here's your money. You know, here's your passive income. Go make a YouTube video about how you make $10,000 of passive income a month and have no expenses and you're super happy, right? There's no circles under your eyes because your tenants aren't calling you, right? So real estate, I'm not an expert in real estate, but I do know from having my rental car business that if you have tenants and toilets, that, uh, you know, I might have not have toilets in my car, but I do have tires. I do have brakes. I do have windshields. I do have people who, uh, mess with my cars. So I can only imagine what someone who's living in a place that is technically in your name is doing to that. So is real estate that passive? Mm, I wouldn't call it hundred percent passive money manager, perhaps the most passive, but you need the most money for that too. Cause that person takes fees. They make mistakes with your money probably. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the goal, right? Is just be, being able to have so much money that, you know, maybe you just give it to some guy. You're like, hey, mess around with this $100 million and just make sure it pays me, you know, X amount of money a month so I can go mess around and buy one Lambo a year and, you know, crash one Ferrari a year or whatever. So 
stocks Stocks, they can be passive. Like we said, dividend stocks, or if you pick the right growth stocks, by all means, you know. But again, you need that money from somewhere. So unless you were either given money or you have a bunch of money saved up, you need more active income to fuel that passive source. And then IRA, 401k, that's a good way to just kind of section off a portion of your income and potentially get a match from your employer um, so that, you know, you can go ahead and be set up to, uh, you know, have that. That's your That's your safety net. And that is... I mean, it's kind of passive, but again, that's part of your income that you're actively working for, right? So, uh, closing thoughts. I, I just, I get real triggered from passive income talks because most people are not in a position to uh, have a considerable amount of passive income in, in today's world. And it's just like, it's like doing drugs on YouTube by watching videos about passive income because it's going to make you high up front. Like, oh, passive income. Oh, cool, cool. But then it's going to make you depressed because then you're going to turn around and be like, oh, I have to go back to work and my job sucks. And it's going to make you hate your job. It's going to make you potentially hate your side hustle because you're like, oh, I just wish I had passive income. I can go on a cruise and talk about how much my houses make me, right? No, those people who are on cruises, they still have to work to do the, to, to get those properties to pay. So I'm not going to get into the weeds anymore, but passive income, it's like the Greek yogurt of the finance community right now. Everyone's got their own take on it. It's just... It's kind of cancerous right now. So uh, how you can win the Dodge Charger, two free days with that. So all you got to do, subscribe to the channel, you know, turn that subscribe button, uh, I think it's red, and then turn it gray. Also smash the like button, but that subscribe button is where I'm drawing. The subscriber list is where I will draw on Sunday, this Sunday, the 26th of July. That is where I, where I will draw the winner to the competition who will get two free days with my Dodge Charger Daytona. It is about a five hundred dollars. So, I mean, there's only a few subscribers right now, so you might as well subscribe. You get like a one in thirty chance right now of winning, and uh, you know I'm not going to be giving my Dodge Charger to my family, so you pretty much got a one in twenty chance. So subscribe, like the video, check us out on Instagram. If you want to get into stock trading, uh, there's two free stocks with Weeble below. About fourteen hundred bucks worth of free stocks as, as a potential. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.